£27 million in Budget 2010 in public transport funding, and there have been devastating cutbacks in the bus airing fleet and the Dublin bus fleets in route services. And now the Fianna Fáil Green cutbacks, of course, have begun to target rail users with significant service reductions on commuter and urban rail lines. Uh, two weeks ago, I warmly welcomed the reopening of the Limerick to Galway rail line. Yet, incredibly, this was followed almost immediately by Noel Dempsey's approval for the disgraceful, threatened closure of the Ross Lair to Waterford commuter rail line. <laughs> Our chairperson, uh, and I congratulate him on his re election, uh, Deputy uh, Brendan Howland and Councillor Joe Ryan. Uh, who, who I met on this issue uh, yesterday, are leading a valiant campaign to stop this railway being, uh, uh, being shut. Uh, I've asked the National Transport Authority to reject its closure, and let me state here categorically that in any government led by the Labour uh, Party, we will immediately reopen uh, Rosslare Waterford. We remain bitterly opposed to public transport cutbacks, unlike, I think, all other political parties now, including the mendacious and hypocritical Greens, and imagine now they have a transport minister, and the privatising ideologues of Fine Gael. I spent a lot of my time, by the way, defending public transport, not just from Fianna Fáil and the Greens, but also from Fine Gael. We're deeply committed uh, and we legislate where necessary to protect the integrity of the national urban and local uh, uh, bus and rail networks uh, and we've worked very closely with the National Transport Authority, the new National Transport Authority since last December in this regard and it continues to be my ambition that that Transport Authority should be transformed into a democratically elected uh, uh, body. We've always believed that all citizens, no matter where you live in any part of this land, should have access to decent public transport services. And that's the reason I published on behalf of the party uh, our own rural transport document, Giving Rural Ireland a Lift, with proposals to protect and develop sustainable and cost-effective rural transport services, uh, as again put forward this morning by the Kindergad branch. Uh, over the next year, uh, uh, Labour's role as the commuters' champion will never be more important. Critical decisions will have to be made on the funding for a number of major transport infrastructural projects, including the Western Rail Corridor, its extension, Metro North, Dublin Rail Interconnector and the full Navan Rail Line. Now, the cost-benefit analysis of these projects, we believe, is overwhelmingly positive and there, there shouldn't be any further delays. These and other sustainable transport uh, projects are clearly need, desperately needed infrastructure in which Labour's proposed strategic investment bank, which Eamon spoke about last night, it will have a key role. But addressing the public transport uh, deficit, of course, will also create tens of thousands of jobs. For example, Metro North alone will create directly 7,000 jobs and 14,000 jobs in, in the wider economy. We must continue as a party, I think, to stand apart from the narrow and mean-spirited slash-and-burn approach to public transport by other Irish parties which focus entirely on short-term cutbacks. And just as in the financial crisis, Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil represent the very same vested interests in this area. Uh, and despite the economic crisis, many other countries, Spain, uh, the US under o Obama, the UK, they're forging ahead with high-speed rail and innovative urban transport networks, and I believe we should do the same. Uh, over Christmas, of course, and during the big freeze, the Minister for Transport uh, effectively disappeared and left us in the shaky hands of the hapless John Gormley. And one of the worst green sellouts, of course, was the €400 million Euro cut, out, cut over the past two years to local authorities for regional and local roads. Uh, and, of course, I've heard uh, over recent months from many councillors um, and fr uh, from our members around the country, uh, and I, I want to make a commitment uh, that that budget should be restored. Uh, in fact, uh, people have been left uh, after the most terrible winter of all in local authorities with less money uh, for our local and uh, regional uh, road system uh, than we've had, in fact, in the years up to 2008. Uh, transport, of course, is a safety critical activity, uh, as we can see uh, this morning and the last few days with a lot of Europe uh, shut down in aviation terms. Uh, the half century, of course, of total neglect of our railways and a serious systems failure of Irish rail management almost produced one of the greatest disasters uh, in Irish history at the Mal Malahide Estuary last August. Let me again salute the heroic train driver and signalman who saved so many lives that evening and urged, including some of our own colleagues, and urged that the necessary organisation changes take place. Uh, 
uh, in our national rail co uh, company. And I also, of course, congratulate the efforts of the, role, uh, the uh, Road Safety Authority to save lives. Motion from uh, Clare Constituency Council rightly draws attention to the crisis situation in the air traffic and wider tourism industries. I have committed uh, uh, a year and a half ago, I think, uh, that again the Labour Party and Government will abolish uh, the €10 Euro air travel tax, which has had a disastrous impact, uh, in particularly on Shannon Airport. Uh, can I say, by the way, that uh, this Labour Party, we will never be dictated to by any powerful business interests in the aviation field, and that includes Michael O'Leary. And that includes Michael O'Leary and Ryanair. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge uh, the valiant campaign of our many members, uh, and uh, I've just been talking to one before I came up, who are taxi workers for a major reform of the disastrous light touch regulation of the taxi industry. And as you know, we published our document uh, last May, hailing a new taxi service, a high quality and fair taxi industry for all. I laid out uh, there a set of fair proposals on behalf of the party to achieve the highest quality service for passengers, as well as providing a decent, sustainable income for all taxi uh, workers. So, Chairperson, com uh, comrades, I commend all the motions before us uh, to the House. Thank you.